the top car, even if the weather runs more sunny than Sorrento. I absolutely love spending time down here. I think you can tell so much about a person by the cars that they choose to collect. This Lotus 11, for instance, I know he loves driving, it blasting around the lanes. And then you've got the Lotus 7, one of the most pure driving experiences ever, I think. The Duckums, I'm particularly fond of this car. Checkered flag is out for Dario Franchitti. He takes the checker for the victory. Franchitti in that number 68 car. There's some of the greatest hits down here. You see Rocket, and Gordon has promised me I get to drive this in the summer. And then there's all these cars that have influenced him so much and influenced the cars that he's made, you see, particularly with T33. You know, some of these, he doesn't even fit in, but he just loves them. He just loves the purity of them, the design. It's not actually that long since I was last down here and I've noticed the collection has grown a little bit since then. Fiat Dino Spider, just stunning, absolutely beautiful. Flat 12 Alpha Formula One engine, what is he up to now? I'll find out soon enough, I guess. Anyway, Phil is a very busy man, so I'm not gonna keep him waiting. Hey Terry, good to see you. How yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is uh, quite the building, is it not? What a journey. Well, I've just come from the production facility and where you are now, this will be the new customer VIP lounge. It's incredible. I mean, we were here for the top and off ceremony a couple of months ago. It doesn't seem that long, but the amount of work that's been done has been ridiculous. It's been an amazing journey. You think about where we are now. We're just about to receive the keys and then we'll do the fit out and next year we'll be making T33s here. All this for a production run of 100 cars. That's a bit excessive even for us. It is a big building, yeah, but we always said we'd do different variants. And on that note, I think Gordon's got a surprise for you this afternoon. I do love Gordon's surprises. For you, there's good news and bad news. Good news is the building's almost finished. Bad news is we have to borrow your T50. Look after it for you. <laughs>
that was a cracking driving T50 to get here. And where is here? Dunsfold, T50 production line. You can see the first customer cars are in production. Speaking of T50, I hear one coming, which tells me Gordon's arrived. So let's go see what he's going to show us. Funnily enough, I heard you pulling up. <laughs> oh, thanks for coming. I've got something to show you. Oh, I like it when you say that. Is that what I saw on your drawing board? Might be. <laughs> Should we go have a look? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you beauty. <laughs> you know I love a spider. <laughs> yeah, the team's pretty pleased with this one, the way it's turned out. It's stunning. God, it's, yeah, it's not often you chop the roof off a car and it, 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 just, it looks even better. It's just, yeah. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on the, on the sort of, um, not just the concept uh, of the styling, but actually the detail on the rear deck, because it's quite a long rear deck, as you can see. So a lot of work went into uh, the detail as well. So from the, from the A pillar forward, that normal T33? It's pretty much, yeah. I mean, obviously there's some technical changes for roof stowage and stuff, but pretty much T33, but from here rearwards, everything's brand new. Everything's Completely brand new. different. Yep. I mean, the first thing I see is the roll hoop. One, one piece? Yeah. Most people that do spiders do the sort of twin headrest. And because this has to be the outside of the car, they're offset to the seat. Which oh, I hate that. Always. <laughs> I, I really can't stand that. Um, and I wanted to do something a little bit different. And of course, this is much more aerodynamic, which is important for the rear uh, spoiler to still work uh, from a downforce point of view. And, and it just looks so much nicer. And then you can get uh, a full drop glass uh, behind the driver as well uh, with this system. To get you even closer to that lovely V12. Yep. The full immersive spider experience. Oh my word. Talking about that, this air box. Talk, t tell me about it. It looks phenomenal. Well, as, as you remember, you know, on, on 33, on the coupe, this, of course, is fixed directly to the engine. So you've got the, uh, the American muscle car shake when you stop at the lights. But, uh, of course, on this, uh, not only is there still uh, a moving part attached to the engine, but it is literally right above the occupants. So, once again, from a spider experience point of view, this is going to be unique. And it's going to have the same sort of ethos as, as T50 when, if you want induction noise, give yeah. you a right foot of flex. Absolutely. So the induction noise, just like 50 and 33, the induction noise is throttle opening and not revs. So you, you get it when you want it. <laughs> so, yeah, cruising along, nice and quiet, drop a couple. Yep. And it's really going to be there, isn't it? It's right next to your head. I love, I love it. So, what were the influences on this car? 
Now, I'm not really a spider person. I've noticed historically. I've noticed more <laughs> spiders creeping into the. No pun intended. <laughs> but <laughs> creeping I, I, into the. Collection. I'm not really a spider person until recently. I haven't bought uh, many spiders, but. Uh, what, what puts me off is the compromise you get with spiders from, the, from a structural and a torsional. But you don't do compromise. No, no, no. So on this, on this we, we did it the other way around. We made sure that the target for the minimum torsional stiffness to protect our vehicle dynamics and the handling mm. was the spider. So this car achieves our torsional targets. So there's absolutely zero drop off in, in vehicle dynamics. So once, once I'd got over that hurdle, I was happy to do an open car. Because when at first I heard you were going to do it, I was like, hmm, I'm not, I'm not sure how it's going to work. But obviously you, you had the answer. And ultralight, the, the ultralight system of, of, of the chassis, that, does that lend itself to, that's to this? A, well, that's a big enabler uh, for us to achieve this sort of torsional rigidity. So this is iStream Ultralight, which is a, a very new type of carbon monocoque. And it gives you massive strength through the rocker section under the doors, which is what you need for an open top car. And uh, that's definitely an, an enabler for the, this performance. You talk about compromise. One of the things people say is, oh, you know, spiders, they're oh, a lot heavier. Torsional rigidity, a lot heavier. You lose a couple of hundred kilos at least heavier. What's the, what's the offset to, to T33? I think currently we're, we're predicting less than 20 kilos uh, heavier than the, than the coupe, even with the roof mechanism. <laughs> that's, mind, that's absolutely mind-blowing. That's... So the same, same horsepower as, as 33? Yep, exactly the same. Same, the same engine. Same really. engine. Yeah. Same Cosworth V12. Yep, manual gearbox. So the, the customer spoke with T33. They, they wanted manual. Yep, uh, indeed, yes. I mean, as you know, we, we, in, <laughs> we initially intended to offer a paddle shift, but uh, it, nobody wanted it, really. So the roof. Let's talk practicality mm -hmm. for a second. Just a second, though. As you know, I own a couple of cars that when you take the roof off and you stow it, mm -hmm. basically you go on a road trip, you have to choose between spare underwear and spare socks, and that's not fun for anybody involved. <laughs> but I would imagine you've thought uh, of a way around that. Yes, well, you know me and practicality. You know, it's fine making, making supercars, but you need to give people a reason for wanting to drive them. And you certainly have to take away the reasons for not wanting to drive them. And one of them is practicality if you want to go on a road trip. So this, this car is, uh, has an amazing luggage capacity. So with the roof on, we've got, like the coupe, we've got 295 litres or six suitcases. When you put the, take the roof off, that fits in the front compartment, but we've still got 180 litres of luggage in the rear and four suitcases in the rear. And I'll show you in a minute how, the, uh, how you get to the luggage. It's quite, um, quite interesting. That's phenomenal. And the roof's very easy on and off? Yeah, it's just clip-in carbon panels, um, very light, very easy to um, assemble and disassemble, and easy to stow as well. And we're going to make, as usual, 100 cars? Strictly a hundred of these, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> it's going to be a few disappointed yeah. people, I think. Yeah, there, there, there really is. It's, um, it looks phenomenal. I mean, for me, when anyone buys a car like this, you, you, you buy it for how it makes you feel, don't you? Yep. When you walk into the garage in the morning, you see it there. Yep. You start it up. You drive it, whether you're driving it flat out or whether you're just cruising along. It's, it's, it's the emotion when you park it and you walk away, you want to give it that last... One last look. One last look. That's, that's really a test for me with the cars I, I've got, is that you need to just, or sometimes even go back into the garage to have one more look. <laughs> and uh, of course, you, the, the beauty is one thing, but with 33, uh, whether it's the coupe or the spider, you've got a pretty little practical car that you could use virtually every day, or every day actually, yeah. But the bonus is you've still got the magic four litre V12 in the back. And that, as you know now, we've both driven, both driven the cars a lot. That is quite simply the best engine ever made for a road car. When you said that to me way back when we did T50 launch, I thought, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. I, I, I believe you. Now, having driven so many miles in T50 especially, it is just 
mind blowing. It, yeah. And, and that, you know, that's from somebody that's used to driving cars with a thousand horsepower or whatever. This, this is, is, is so incredible. And as you say, you get this beautiful, but you said small. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got no reference points here. The actual physical size of this car yeah. is. Once again, very easy to place on the road, mm -hmm. even on an A road, you know. It's like 50, you know, it's, it's the same width as 50 and it's very slightly longer. Um, and about 100 kilos heavier. So we're, we're just under 1100 with the coupe and just over 1100 uh, with the spider. And you've got these beautiful seams running right up the middle of the wings to help you position it. Yeah, it's just, yeah exactly, yes. Um, it's, those are the sort of principles I always start with with a sports car. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter if it's a normal sports car or, or a supercar, it, it has to be all about the driver focus and, and the driver having fun, full stop. Who does your wheels? The, the guys are really good at are the, are the wheel um, design. I, I never ever do wheels that aren't, it, in fact it drives me insane if you see a wheel that has curved spokes and is not good from an engineering principle. So all our wheels are from engineering principle. But these are particularly good and I think they suit the car really well. No, absolutely. The business end of the car. This beautifully sculpted deck underneath Cosworth V12. Yep. This is the same uh, state of tune, shall we call it, as the coupe, about 617 uh, PS, uh, which gives this a better bow to weight ratio than the McLaren F1. <laughs> so it's going <laughs> to be a spider. It's going to be quick. <laughs> yes. It's going to be rapid. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. And the torque, same low down torque? It's, it's actually uh, a, a, a different version of the engine with even more low down torque. Than T50? Yeah, let's go and have a look. <laughs> it really is a work of art, isn't it? It's a lovely thing. It really is a lovely thing. I mean, even forgetting the way it performs just, just as a piece of engineering art, it's, it's lovely. But go back to your original ideas for this V12 engine. This, the purity of design, where did that come from? I think it goes back to the McLaren F1 and even before that to the 60s. I loved the Colombo engines from the 60s where you had no belts and extra stuff. It was just the V12, you know, this lovely little V12. And I've always loved that. I mean, I, was, I started on, as an engine designer before chassis, so I, I do love engines. And then when I did the, um, the F1 engine with Paul Rocher from BMW, I said to Paul, I don't want any rubbish on the thing. You know, I don't want any plastic pipes and tubes. And, and he did a great job. Uh, Cosworth, I went in, sat down and did exactly the same thing with them. And they've done an even better job, I have to say. I mean, the engine is just, there's nothing on it um, that's extraneous, really. It's all, you know, such a cohesive piece of design. And on the back of the engine, there's those intermeshed gears. It just looks like a Swiss watch, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a, just a beautiful piece of engineering, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. So the basic configuration is um, still carryover from 50, you know, the crank and, and the block. But of course, the, the tuning of the engine is very, very different on 33 on the coupe and the spider. Mm -hmm. So uh, just by taking a thousand revs off the top, you know, we, we always wanted the T50 to be the absolute, you know, on the, on the ragged edge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, Mission accomplished. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, so 33, just by taking a thousand revs off the top, Cosworth have been able to remap using different cams and different heads. And this engine has even more low down torque than 50. So this has got 75% max torque at 2.5 and 90% max torque from 4, four. to 10 which is just ridiculous when you think the engine revs to 11,000. Yeah, that is, is frankly ridiculous. It's, it's, it is such a phenomenal piece and you get, this, get to put it in this beautiful car. It's definitely a win-win, isn't it? Yep, yeah, it's, um, it's a lovely combination. Well, this is quite the view, isn't it? I mean, th these two beautiful wings sort of helping you to guide the car down whatever road you're on. And such a low scuttle again. You know, it's, uh, it, the scuttle height's about the same as T50. It feels like, a, you know, it's almost like a sight, isn't it? To just help you find that perfect apex. And it, yeah. it feels very familiar. 
in 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 the, the driver side of the car anyway. Yeah, well, it's our it's our driving perfection. You know, it's uh, it's totally driver focused again. The poor old passenger doesn't get much over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about you know clear analog controls, rotary controls, no touch screens, the lovely big taco again. It's it's everything we set out for fifty has been the philosophy really, and the ethos has been carried out over for uh, thirty three. And even the position of the controls feels familiar. It, it is, old. yeah, yeah. And of course, you know now, we do, we do a lot of uh, seating bucks and ergonomic studies uh, with all different shapes and sizes of people just to make sure that the primary controls and the secondary controls are all just in the right place. Yeah, and for me, just sitting here, we're, we're completely different body shapes. I mean, your, your legs are about a foot longer than mine, but, and, um, but I'm tall in the body, but we're both sitting here. Yeah, it's pretty comfy, lots of room. Yeah. Once again, lots of interior stowage. You've got uh, three stowage compartments. And if the passenger seat moves forward a bit, we've got space for suit bags. We've got about 40 litres behind the passenger seat as well. Um, so nothing to stop you going on holiday. Fantastic. And I love the way the door blends into the dash. This all just seems to roll into... into yeah, one. it's all, you know, interiors. We've got a very good team in the studio. Interiors don't have to be complicated to be good, you know. I love interiors that are good but simple. There's no trinkets? No. Nope. There's nothing in here you don't need. And you've got the, the full-time camera looking back. That's right, yeah, that's, that's a new innovation uh, with 33. So we've got the conventional mirrors because we can now that we're, we're doing left and right hand drive cars. But we've got a full-time rear view camera uh, as well as the outside mirrors. So the, uh, not just the ergonomics, but the visibility should be really good. It's so important, isn't it? Yeah, and, and of course then the drivability is better, isn't it? Yeah, you can be more You're comfortable. More, more relaxed. Mm. Yeah. And I look down at my feet and I see these beautiful, very familiar pedals. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't backed off the engineering art just because it's 33. You know, we, we promised everybody that all our vehicles would have the same seven principles. And that's a biggie for us uh, and for me in particular. You know, all, all the engineered bits are, even the bits you can't see, and the owners will probably never see, are all beautifully engineered but you know and the team knows that <laughs> yes it's, yeah yeah no in, corners in, cut. indeed and i'm looking up over my left and my right shoulder <laughs> your left and i'm seeing this air intake <laughs> <laughs> talk about talk about the fully immersive spider experience i mean this is, uh, is about as good as it gets i think yeah. because you've got obviously the roof panels out the wind in our hair uh, yeah the wind in the hair the side glass drops completely we've got an electric uh, drop on the rear glass that drops and that brings the engine and the engine cover into you even closer and then the piece de resistance is you've got the induction <laughs> sound just there <laughs> <laughs> i think so. the only way you can get closer is actually by sitting on the engine i cannot wait to drive this thing should we go and take another look at the outside? Yeah, let's jump out and have a look. Gordon, you mentioned earlier when you store the roof panels in the front, you've got 180 litres of luggage capacity still in the back. Yep. In the sides here? Yep. With the same crazy opening as T33? Indeed. Give it a go. like that. That is a great compound axis. Isn't yeah, it? it's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. So because it's a spider, we had to compromise with aero. Not at all, actually, because we set out to get exactly the same downforce and aero performance as the coupe. And if you remember, on the coupe, we have the passive boundary layer control, a much steeper diffuser with the base suction pulling the air out of the steep part of the diffuser, like the fan does. Mm -hmm. Of course, we don't get fan car performance but we're halfway there and this performance is exactly the same so yet again no compromise no compromise no and what a way you've done it I mean, just looking at this engine cover there's not a there's not a straight line it looks like it's shrink wrapped around the engine yeah so the styling getting getting this sort of packaging the aero and the styling all working together is something I think our team is very very good at you know we've got these gorgeous curves down here and I love the detail the sort of subtle detail and bumps around here yeah, just either side you know, the, the, the induction here just phenomenal and this color absolutely sets off. yeah it, it really does we've we've had a lot of fun with the uh, the studio and the graphics team 
on, on colours for this car. It seems to suit, um, a bit like 50 actually, it seems to suit so many different colours. And I have had the most fun working on T50 with the customers on specking all their cars. I mean, I just, that for me, I've always said that's half the fun, and it really is probably more than half the fun. And of course, we're 33 now, being prototyped and heading towards development. It won't be too long before we start specking 33s for customers. And of course, we've got 50 in production already, and uh, 50S uh, prototyped and actually doing its, all its development work this summer. So we're heading for a really fun year. And a busy year too. Fantastic. Yep. So we've got two T50s outside. We've got the keys. Should we have some fun? Why not? Come on. So I've been thinking, those shirts, where'd you buy them? I've got to get one. Well, if you behave yourself, I might get you one for Christmas. <laughs>